In this tutorial, we will learn cloth simulation affected with wind force field and we will create this abstract sphere with the help of geometry node. All of this on our channel Thing Sci-Fi. Select the cube then go to geometry node, click new and remove group input. Add a icosphere by pressing shift A. Increase its subdivision. Then add mesh to curve, then curve to mesh. Connect curve circle to profile curve. Reduce curve circle radius to 0 0.04. Then connect dual mesh. This will make the changes. To make the object smooth, add a set set smooth, then add set material. We will use it later in the tutorial. Now go to object property and move the object in Z location. If you increase the radius of icosphere, the shape will get changes to some unique form. Add a plane to the scene, then move it in the Z location. Scale it by 2. Then click new in geometry node and add subdivision mesh in between. As you can see, it is affecting the plane, so increase its label. You can do the subdivision in edit mode also but geometry node give you the power to control it at any time then add subdivision surface modifier as you can see geometry is disappear because subdivision surface is selected in modifier so select this geometry node it will appear again connect group input bottom point with label this will give you command of label in the modifiers tab come back to the layout Select the object and go to physics property and apply collusion to it. Then select the plane and apply cloth to it. Then in modifier setting move the cloth to upward to subdivision surface modifier. Add a solidify modifier to add a little bit thickness to the plane. Add a thickness of 0 0.002. Press 1 for the front view then play your animation by pressing the space bar to see the effect. Again go to geometry node then click the geometry node in the modifiers to see it in see it to see it here. Then add set set smooth this will smooth the plane also increase the subdivision surface levels come back to the layout then go to physics property and increase quality steps to 10 steps multiply to 1.4 vertex mass to 2 this is the weight of your cloth Tension to 10,000, compression to 80, shears to 80, a bending to 3. Then in damping, tension to 50, compression to 50, shears to 50, and bending to 0.1. Then go to collusion, quality to 5 distance to point zero two and enable self collusion now all done play your animation to see every setting are working correctly or not everything is fine now add a force wind force field by pressing shift a move it in x location minus four rotate it 90 degree on y rotation then move it 1 meter in z location scale it up to 2 then add 
then at frame 75 make the wind strength 0 enter keyframe then move the timeline to 100 and increase the wind strength to 15000 then again enter keyframe now when you play the animation you can see the effect if you are satisfied with your wind animation wind effect and cloth simulation then bake your cloth you can change your start and end time if required then click bake this will take some time after bake play your animation and see every everything is correct or not then press 1 for front view then click control alt 0 to set your camera to the view select the camera and adjust its x y and z location go to this camera setting and reduce its focal length enable depth of field to see depth of view in solid view click the drop down and enable depth of view make the f stop point 2 play with focus distance until when your subject comes under focus add one more plane then rotate it on x axis by pressing rx 90 move it in z location then y location scale it by pressing s and mouse until it covers the entire camera rename it as background now we will apply materials to the objects so go to the shading tab select the cloth and choose the best position for it add a timeline for material you can go to ambientcg.com or you can go to any other site go to material and search cloth and select whatever material you like i like this then click and select 4k jpg after download extract it click new in material then select principal bsdf and click control t if you have enable node wrangler otherwise go to edit preferences then add on search node wrangler and activate then make two more duplicate of image texture by pressing shift d click open and go to the location where you have extracted the file then select color on it again in second image texture click open and go to the location and select roughness then in non color in color space connect it with roughness and mapping then in third image texture again click open go to the location and select displacement connect it with mapping select non color in color space then add bump node by pressing shift a connect image texture to bump node height and bump node to the normals then reduce the bump node strength because it is too hard after this select the background and click new select your color in the base color then decrease the roughness again select the cloth because we have to do some changes in principal bsdf select the main material and rename its material then go to geometry node and select geometry node in modifiers setting then in set material select abstract shape then come back to the shading tab and select your base color then increase the metallic and reduce the roughness save your project so that you do not lose any parts at any some chances come back to the layout now we will add light to the scene add a aerial light adjust it in the right side of the object then in light setting increase the power to 15000 delete the point light press 0 for the camera view then increase its scale increase its size then make a duplicate of aerial light by pressing shift d and adjust it in the left side then rotate is rotate it by pressing r key 
then make one more duplicate of aerial light by pressing shift D and adjust it in the front side for rotation click R you can follow this light setup or you can follow any other lighting setup whatever you like play with the power of all the three aerial light see whether the light is looking good on cloth or not click the camera and adjust the focal distance if required to render it in EV enable ambient occlusion screen space reflection then in color management select high contrast in look but as you know cycle is more photorealistic so i will go to the cycle then select gpu then in viewport maximum sampling select 10 and in render maximum sampling i am selecting 100 but higher the number better the quality will be so if you can your computer can handle it increase the maximum sampling of render do a render image to see everything is correct or not now we will add one more camera to the scene select a position then add a camera by pressing shift a then click this camera icon of the second camera to make it as a active camera then press 0 for camera view then again press 0 for come out to the camera view then press ctrl alt 0 to set your camera to the view press n then go to view and select camera to view now adjust your camera with the help of shift key and your mouse when you are satisfied with your position then again press n key and uncheck camera to view at frame 69 we want to set this camera for that click the camera icon to make it as an active camera then move your cursor over the timeline then press m then go to the mark then select bind camera to mark but what if we want to set first camera at frame 1 to 69 for that at frame 1 click the camera icon of camera 1 in the view layer then move your mouse cursor over the timeline and press m then go to mark and again select bind camera to the mark this will bind your first camera to frame 1 to 69 then after 69 the second camera will activate it again i want to bind the first camera after the frame 146 for that again click the camera icon of first camera to make it as a active camera then move your mouse cursor over the timeline click m go to mark and select bind camera to mark now see your camera will look like your animation will look like this to render it go to output property and select your location and name in file format you can render it as png sequence or for video select ffmpeg4 video then in container select mpeg4 and in output quality select high quality or perceptual lossless then render render animation if you want to learn the melting effect then check the right video thank you very much for watching